Well, you know, any island is an island of immigrants. Some have been here for a long time, some are more recent. The same stands true for some of our animals. Islanders might be astonished to know that we didn't always have skunks. In fact, skunks are a recent addition to our landscape, and the reason we have them is because of foxes, and therein hangs a story. In the late 1800s, the acme of fur fashion was black fox fur. On PEI, we have the red fox. It's a native of the island. Every now and again, you'll get a mutant strain of black fox. The red fox gives you a black pelt with silver guard hairs that give that black pelt a silver sheen that shimmers. That became the acme of fashion. Royalty, millionaires, aristocrats craved black fox pelts. But in the 1890s, two men in the western tip of the island, Olton and Dalton, managed to convince wild foxes to breed in pens. And that allowed them to breed silver black foxes. In a period when a farm laborer on Prince Edward Island earned 320 bucks a year, these two men, Olton and Dalton, in 1900, sold one pelt for $1,800 in the fur market in London. In 1910, they sold 25 pelts for $35,000. They tried to pretend that these were just, you know, different foxes from the wild, but the secret leaked out that they were breeding black foxes. Others got involved, a small group, and they formed a monopoly called the Big Six. And the members of the Big Six agreed not to sell any foxes, live foxes, to anyone else so that they could keep a monopoly on the supply of this high quality black fur. That monopoly held good until 1910. And when it collapsed, it led to an incredible fox boom. Thousands of investors from all over the world rushed to invest in their fox farms on Prince Edward Island. By 1914, there were 312 fox farms incorporated on Prince Edward Island. Worth, on paper, $26 million. People were selling live foxes for breeding stock for up to $20,000 an animal. But if you couldn't afford to buy silver fox, if you couldn't afford to buy the foxes for a fox farm, there was a cheaper alternative. Skunks. Skunks were not native to Prince Edward Island, but during the fox boom, islanders started importing them so they could raise them on ranches, try to breed out the white stripe to as small as possible, and sell those pelts in a downscale market for people that couldn't afford the silver black fox fur. World War I started in 1914, and the market fell out from underneath the whole fur trade. Silver fox fur industry went into the doldrums and the bubble you know, burst, and the market fell for skunk fur. And farmers across the island set them free. And they loved our habitat, and they've enjoyed it ever since. Thank you for watching. We hope you're enjoying our series. If you are, please subscribe. And if you have questions about any of our videos or an idea for a new video, leave a note in the comments. Who knows, maybe your idea will get in our next video.